What's up guys, Matt and Blake from footballboots.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at the best boots for each position on the football pitch. We're going to be looking at the top five pros for each position and what they wear and hopefully this gives you a better insight into what kind of boots are best suited to you. So let's get right into it. So first of all, get into goalkeepers first with Gianluigi Buffon. He wears the Evo Power Vigor 1. What does it offer? It's got one of the best synthetic uppers on the market. It's so soft, it'll also be pretty durable but it's all about powerful ball striker and it'll be quite wide fitting as well. So the next player is Thibaut Courtois, he wears the Magista Opus 2, so why the Opus? Well it's not the best boot, it's not one of my favourite boots on the market, but again it's going to be wide fitting and the main thing about the Opus 2 is it's so comfortable. So now onto Hugo Lloris, he wears the Legend 6, standard choice in them. Yeah, so this is more of a leather version for you, so so far we've seen two synthetics, this is a leather option. Apart from the durability issues, these are a great fitting boot and also you can get some nice touch and feel. Now on to the best goalkeeper in the world, Manuel Neuer. He actually wears something quite different, the A16.1. Yeah, so he hasn't actually progressed into the 17 model yet. He prefers the 16.1 and we had to include him because he is the best goalkeeper in the world. So if you want to boot, especially if you're on a bit of a budget, you can probably pick these up for a really good price. So now on to Kasper Schmeichel. So what is he wearing? So he's actually wearing the New Balance Furon 2.0, which is definitely a bit controversial because it's a lightweight boot and New Balance is speed theme boot. So I think it's actually quite interesting to see that a goalkeeper, most goalkeepers have really, really big feet. He's actually wearing a very thin mesh speed boot. So it doesn't really matter what boots you wear for position. So what's this all about? So this is the football pitch that we're going to go with. And our number one choice is the Evo Power Vigor. So that is our number one goalkeeper's pick. You've seen five options. You saw the Vigor, you saw another synthetic, a leather boot, and also the speed thing. But in our opinion, we think the best boot for goalkeepers is the Evo Power Vigor. Now on to fullbacks or wingbacks. So we've got Danny Cavajo with the Legend 6. Yeah, so this really is a great option for fullbacks. He's just a very versatile boot, and I think that's what fullbacks are at the moment. They're very versatile footballers, and that's exactly what the leather, and also it's fairly lightweight for a leather boot, gives you. Simpo Legend 6, brilliant option for fullbacks. It's a very, very default option for defenders, isn't it? So on to the next player. So this is Danny Alves of Juventus with the Vapor. Yeah, so he's wearing the Vapor 11, so we've just seen the Legend, which is a much more versatile boot. But if you're a very attack-minded fullback like Danny Alves is, yes, then definitely. you might want more of a speed theme boot, and that's what the Vapor 11 offers. Nice, nice. Now on to Philip Lam with an Ace Leather, so it's probably a really, really comfortable, lightweight boot. So yeah, Ace Leather. Yeah, so it's kind of a mixture between two. So we saw the Legend, and then we saw the Vapor 11. So this has almost got a bit of a touch between the two, and leather at the front, synthetic and back. Now on to Marcus Alonso with a low cut Phantom 3. Yep, so this is the High Venom 3 low. Brilliant boot. Again, a bit similar to the Legend. I think it's very versatile. I don't think there's a lot of players out there who can't not like this boot, and it's all about the low cut version. It's your boot, isn't it? This is probably my boot, yeah. Now on to the last wing back is Marcelo, probably the best left back in the world, right? I'll probably say so. There's not a massive selection of world class left backs at the moment, but Marcelo is probably the pick, and he's also wearing the pick of my Adidas boots, the Pure Chaos. So the Pure Chaos is sort of exactly what like the vapor's like, isn't it? Very similar. So what do we think the two best boots for wingbacks are? So what we've gone with on our right side of the fullback, we've gone for the Vapor 11. This is the attack-minded fullback. Right. They're going to be brilliant for you, lightweight and synthetic. On the opposite side, on the left, we've gone for the Marcus Alonso boot, which is the High Venom 3 Low. Very versatile. It could have been the Legend 6, but yep. we might see them appear a bit later. But I think these are a brilliant boot at the moment. So now on to centre backs, the Legend 6 with John Bolting. Yeah, exactly. So I'm a centre half myself, and these would be a brilliant option. I'm so attached to my finish at the moment, but I think these are brilliant. Leather and comfortable, superb. And also Sergio Ramos wears them as well, and also Gerard Piquet. So they are so popular with centre halves. Yeah, definitely a very popular option for centre backs. Now on to Leonardo Bonucci, what is he wearing? So he's wearing the Obra 2. Now the reason we chose this one is because it's actually a great deal of protection and durability in these yep. boots, yep. just because the upper is so thick, but not too thick that it's kind of, you lack any kind of ball touch and feel, but it just gives you a bit of protection from those dimples. It's probably the best collared option for defenders, right? Yeah, I think so. Now on to Giorgio Collini, now another Eva Power. Yeah, so very similar to Buffon, he wears the Evo Power Vigor. And again, it's all about that wide fit, synthetic upper, very soft. I think these are a pretty good option. I think for an Evo Power, they might lack a bit of protection compared yeah. to older generations. Yeah. But if Chiellini wearing it, and he's an old school centre half, they must be good. Now onto Matt Tummels of Bayern Munich with the Ace 17.1 leather. So Philip Lamour, this 
I think it's just a very versatile boot as well. I think for defenders, versatile is probably the word. You've got the leather at the front for traditional touch and feel, but then lightweight synthetic at the back. So now on to Pipe of Real Madrid. He wears the Medusa Pro. Yes, yeah, so he's actually famous for wearing the Speciali, but very recently he's changed into that Medusa, and they're actually quite similar. They're very similar to the A16.1 leather, so really, really high quality leather on the forefoot, and a lightweight sort of mesh synthetic on the back. So now on to what's the best choice of the Simbo? So it has to be the Tiempo Legend 6 just because how popular they are with the world class stars and I think as we said they're lightweight, they're comfortable, they're leather, it's a great option and then on the opposite centre half we've gone for the Evo Power Vega just like Chiellini so we've got the link up with Juventus there and I think the Evo Power Vega as a whole boot is quite underrated. Yes exactly. Now on to defensive midfielders with Sergio Busquets, your favourite player of all time, isn't he? I hate Sergio Busquets. Busquets, if you're watching, I can't do with your diving and cheating. It's not for me. I'm a Real Madrid fan myself. But he's in the Opus 2. Again, it's not a boot for me, but comfort, protection. You're going to be very comfortable for 90 minutes, so it is a good option. So any issue with this as well. And now on to Casemiro. He was something quite different for a defensive midfielder. So this is actually a little bit controversial. A bit like Schmeichel in the Fjord 2.0. For a CDM, you wouldn't expect to wear a vape because it's a bit more of a protection no, and passing no, boot. Exactly. But this is a bit more of a dribbler. Now on to arguably the best midfielder in the, in the world. Yeah, I'd say he's probably the most effective player in the Premiership. I think if he went to any team, he'd make such a huge difference. And that's Kante in the Pure Chaos. Yeah, it must be his boots to pure chaos. It's not really a, an obvious choice for a defensive midfielder, is it? No, it's not an obvious one, but I think they are a brilliant boot. So now on to Tony Cruz, but what, what does he wear? So he actually wears the Adi Pure 11 Pros. Now, I don't mind that. He obviously loves these boots so much that he wants to stick with them. That's yeah. about me at the moment. I love my finish, so I don't really want to change. So he prefers that very classical leather boot, and that's what the Adi Pure 11 Pros offer you. Now on to our last defensive midfielder. He's almost, almost like an attacking midfielder at times. Uh, after a video of the Medusa Obra. Yeah, so a little bit similar to how we were talking about as a centre half, I think the protection and the durability of these boots are brilliant. So that's exactly why they suited to a CDM. So yes, that's the option we have put for the defensive midfielder. I definitely 100% agree with that. Medusa Obra is perfect for defensive minded players. Yeah. Now on to attacking midfielders. So again, now we see the Magister Obra, but Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, exactly. So we just saw our CDM. Now this is our number 10 player. Kevin De Bruyne, he used to wear the super flags. Now he's moved into the Obra 2, and he's got one of the best killer passes. And that dimpled upper with that flying it base does offer you some nice kind of performance to passing and touching. So perfect for midfielders. On to the next player. Again, you're a big fan of this guy. So Moussa Dembele is probably one of my favourite players in the world. Definitely top three for me. I just feel like it goes past players so easy and you can't tackle him. I think he's a sublime footballer. He wears a 17.1 leather. So it has that leather on the front and then the synthetic at the back. Again, very versatile. So again, another very underrated football boot for him. Sure. Underrated player. So on to Luka Modric. Luka Modric, again a bit like Dembele, one of my favourite players. I love the way he plays those outside of the boot passes, even when he doesn't need to. Yep. The Vapor 11 is a really good option for a number 10 because it's going to be very lightweight. You can get some real nice tight barefoot touch and feel on the ball. Now on to Mr. Azil, so the A70 plus pure control. So yeah, pure control. I mean, the pure control isn't for me. I just think it's a bit of a gimmick that it doesn't have laces. I think it's cool, yep. but I think it doesn't actually aid any performance. Now it is good because if you do want to say it doesn't have any laces to interfere with kind of passing long passes, then they are going to be good for that. But I don't think they're the best option. No, no. So now on to Thiago Alcantara of the high boot. Yeah, so he's actually got the high cut version. Lovely footballer, lovely pair of boots. For me personally, I'd go for the low cut ones, but he's probably being paid some big contracts to wear the DF version so the kids are seen him wearing them. But I think these are a brilliant option, especially with those kind of pour on pods inside yes. the upper so you can cushion it, but yep. also play it with a bit of purchase as well. So it's great for attacking midfielders, players that like to shoot off and especially outside the box. Definitely off center lacing there, it's really, really good. Now on to what's the best boot for attacking midfielders? So CDM we went with the Magista O because it's got some nice protection and durability. But the number 10 is all about that bare fix. You can pair those passes, really killer touch as well. So Modric in his Vapor 11s, that's what we've gone for for our number 10. And I definitely think the Hybrid Phantom would be another great choice, but we've gone for the Vapor. Now on to forwards. So Alexis Sanchez with the Superfly. Yeah, so the Superfly fires are so high performing. That's what they're all about from the sole plate to the flywire cables to the upper. I think they are so responsive and that's exactly what you get from the Superfly fire. Perfect. perfect. Now on to Angel de Maria with the Pure Chaos. Yeah, the Pure Chaos, that for me personally, I really do think it's added as his best model at the moment. I love the upper, it is so, so good. So for someone like Di Maria who likes to whip in those balls, so it's all about that very tight, close touch and feel, that's what the Pure Chaos yeah. is going to offer. 
Now on to Eden Hazard with the vapor. Yeah, so we're just seen the vapor win our number 10 position. We've seen a super fly, but again for wingers, if you want that very tight close fit on the ball, very lightweight, streamlined silhouette, Vapor 11 is a good option. Definitely perfect for wingers. On to Marco Royce with the Evo Speed is L is 17. Yeah, so we saw the bigger from Puma, which is good for goalkeepers and center halves, but yeah. for those more attack-minded players, the Evo Speed SLS is gonna be brilliant for you because it's super lightweight and the upper again is pretty good. Yes. Now on to Ian Robin, trademark winger. He wears the what X16.1 leather. Yeah, so exactly right. So he's actually renowned for wearing the leather version of the X boots. He's been doing it for a while now. Bit of a controversial choice. We've seen a couple of controversial ones already, but usually wingers like that very thin barefoot feel. And obviously the leather is going to be a little bit thicker, a bit more plush, and the weight is going to go up. But he obviously loves them. So what is the best boot for wingers, we think? So we've gone for the Pure Cavs on the left-hand side because I think it is a brilliant boot. I think they are seriously top level. And then on the opposite side, we've gone for the X16.1 leather because they're another good option. And one thing that the X16.1 has over the Pure Cavs is I feel like you can actually customise the fit a little bit more yes. because it's a genuine lacing system. Yes, exactly. Now on to, so this is forward. So goal scorers and assist makers, Gareth Bale with the X16.1. Yeah, so this is the standard model. Now it's not so much for me because I feel like that upper is a little bit stiff for my own personal taste, yeah. but there's so many pros out there who wear the 16.1 synthetic and that's why they go in there with Gareth Bale. So Bale himself actually wears the Pure Chaos upper on his X16.1, so he likes the traditional central lacing, but with the Pure Chaos upper. Now on to Griezmann. Yeah, so Griezmann again wears that SLS model of the Evo Speed 17. It is just a very versatile kind of lightweight boot and it's so much better than the standard SL model yes. because it's all about that added bit of durability. Exactly, exactly. Now on to obviously Lionel Messi with the Messi 16.1s. So we had to include Lionel Messi because he is one of the best footballers, if not the best on the planet. And those Messi 16.1s are underrated and very versatile. Yes. Now on to Neymar, again, Vapor, we've had the Vapor a lot in this video. Yeah, so I mean the Vapor 11 really is a good boot. Seriously, it's a high level boot and it could be in any kind of position, maybe apart from a goalkeeper. Yeah. I think you could wear this across the pitch because I think they are pretty decent. I think Neymar with the Vapor is like perfect, so perfect player for the perfect boot. Now on to obviously Ronaldo with the Superfly. Yeah, so similar to Messi, we couldn't leave out Ronaldo. He wears the Superfly 5, all about high level responsiveness and performance. We keep going on about it, but if you want something that's gonna be really quick across the pitch, they're the boot for you. So the Superfly and maybe the Hybrid is really, really good for pacey players, right? So what do we think is the best boot for forwards? So the best boot for forwards has to be the Superfly 5. This is all about breaking the lines, high quick speed dribbling, and also deadly finishing. And that is what the Superfly 5 is all about, performance and responsiveness. Now on to pure goal scorers. So Sergio Aguero with the even speed SL is. Absolutely, so Aguero is one of the most natural goal scoring finishers out there. And these are actually a very underrated boot at the moment for me. I think the SLS is a brilliant boot, very lightweight, yes. good synthetic upper, and I think they are superb for a goal scorer. So now on to Zlatan, he wears the X16.1 customized version. So he has, I think he has the Pure Chaos version on his X16.1. He's known to wear the leather one as well. Yes, yeah, so very similar to Bale. He's got his own kind of custom version of it. I don't think the point one standard model is the best, but if you've got your own Pure Chaos one or even the leather one that he wears, I think that quality just goes up a level. Perfect for strikers. And on to the Hybrid and Phantom 3 DF. Now again, Lewandowski with this boot, I think it's spot on. Look, Lewandowski is all about scoring goals and the High Venom 3DF is all about scoring goals as well. So it's the yep. perfect combination between the two players. They epitomise the High Venom 3. Obvious choice. Now on to the Vapor 11 again with Romelu Lukaku. So Lukaku is on absolute flames at the moment in the Premiership. Yep. He's wearing the Vapor 11 at the moment. So if you don't want to go for the Flying It Superfly 5, just go for the Tyson Synthetic Vapor 11 if you want that low cut model. These are seriously good. So the best strike in the world, Luis Suarez, we're in the standard x ones. Yeah, so for me, I think he's the most deadly centre forward in world football. I would hate to play against him myself. He wears the X16.1 standard version, which is a bit of a surprise that he doesn't actually prefer a customised version like we saw with Bale. But, I mean, it's a very versatile boot. It's got the laces. So if you don't want the pure cash with the pure cut cover, these are going to be the second option for you. Okay, so the best boot for strikers is... It has to be the high venom 3DF because they are literally made and constructed for the center forward you scoring goal, so they have to be in there opposite the Superfly 5. So that is pretty much it. What do you think? Yeah, so having a look at the boots on the team sheet, we can see that it's mostly Nike. I think Nike are really smashing at the moment. But saying that, there are some models that could be replaced. I think you said that the A17 one Prime that could be in the CDM. Yeah. 
him, that's for sure. And also you guys, let us know what boots you would go for for your own position. So let us know in the comment section below your own personal favourite choices for your own position. But I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you next time.